I'm Mick and this is Sally. In our videos we hope to showcase what Australia has to offer. You can follow us on our adventures via the following social media platforms. If you like the video please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It was approximately a two hour drive from our home here in Adelaide to Wakeree in the Riverland of South Australia. Potras Landing would be approximately two kilometres downstream from the town of Wakeree and although the ground is undulating um, you can find level ground to put the van on or to put a campsite up and uh, it offers riverside camping at its best. Heading out the Cadell Road from Wakeree, we did a right hand turn here and that took us down the side of the new caravan park that Wakeree has and from here we headed down towards the, the river bank and the water. The road's all bitumen along the lawn area here and it's like that until you get down to the boat ramp. From there on it's uh, just a sandy dirt road but quite a good road, there's nothing wrong with the road at all to travel on. From here it's just a matter of following the road until you get down to Potrus Landing. Yeah, good day everyone. It's Saturday afternoon and we're all set up here at Potras Landing. It's just downstream slightly from uh, Wakeree itself and uh, on the banks of the river so we're here for two nights and uh, hopefully the weather so far looks to be in our favour so time to sit back and enjoy. For our first night at this camp spot, we were rewarded with a very colourful sunset and as the evening went on, the colours just got brighter and brighter. When we woke the following morning and looked outside, we thought, wow, what a sunrise. We thought our sunset the night before was great, but as this one got brighter and brighter, it was so much prettier than the previous night sunset. morning everyone haven't had my shower yet so a bit scruffy looking but yeah it's quite a nice day the weather's starting to roll in so we'll see how that pans out but very nice this morning I'll put up some drone footage and so on very shortly jumped out of bed early when uh, the water was nice and calm and took a bit of footage and looked very nice so we're just going to sit around here today and enjoy the fire and, and the scenery here by the river
One thing that we did like about the camping locations along the river here, if you want to talk to your next door neighbour, you would have to shout and I'm not sure whether he would even hear you at that rate. While we were at Wakeree, we took a trip to the silo to have a look at the silo art that was uh, painted on them. I think the sign says it all. Half past three in the afternoon and sitting by the fire and the water's really starting to look nice. It's not every day that you can have Toast cooked over the nice red hot coals, so we were going to sneak a couple of pieces in today. Our second sunset was nowhere near as spectacular as the first night, but then again, too much cloud. Still overcast this morning, so hopefully that'll clear up as the morning progresses. Uh, it's day three, so nothing really much planned. We might go down under have a bakery lunch today. We had a bit of a late uh, breakfast this morning. We didn't have a cooked brekkie, bacon and eggs. And that was about oh, half past 10, I think it was, by the time we got the dishes done. So yeah, pretty late, pretty slow going. So not much happening at all today. So a bit of a late lunch, as I say, at the bakery. And that'll be time to go home, I think. So we're just going to enjoy the day here. Been reasonably breezy while we've been here this trip, but it's not too bad at the moment. And uh, the van's given us a bit of shelter. We're on a bit of a low patch here down by the beach, so yeah, it's not too bad. That's a great lawned area along the river. This is all probably halfway between the caravan park, which is on the edge of the main town, and uh, where we're camped, so probably one, two kilometres from where we camped. Very busy yesterday with the Sunday with the groups down there, family groups having uh, get togethers and whatever, but yeah, very well kept. Got barbecues, plenty of bins. Yeah, very nice. One of a few barbecue sheds or shelters that they've got. Free uh, electric, I think it is, electric barbecues. You know, they've got it set up real good on the side of the river here. And up the other end of the car park there, they've got public toilets. Plenty of car parking here. Well, it's come to that time of the day that's ready to pack up, so. Hope you enjoyed what we've shown you on this video and we'll catch you on the next one. If you like the video that you just watched, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of our videos, hit the subscribe button. And once you've done that, tap on the bell and change the notification to all. That way every time we do uploads to our YouTube channel, you'll be notified.